Hi my friends, Ryan Gaming here and today in this video I will showcase you the best client of Roblox which is Voice Trap. I will tell you about the unique things it has got in addition to a little bit of FPS boost settings. Therefore I'm gonna for the yapping, let's dive right in. So there should be a link in the description for voice trap download and you're just gonna download it by clicking this and it will start the download Once you go ahead and install voice trap you're gonna click on settings then go to integration and on turn this on and there was server location it was on you join in server it will show you the server location right there okay then turn this on as well player message and locks it will show you player and joining and leaving it's so you yeah you're gonna turn this on as well go to deployment okay this is kind of new turn this on so basically it will consume more resources if this option is unchecked but turn this on so it will consume less i guess okay turn on roblox updates so it will update automatically then go to modifications and firstly go to manage compatibility settings turn this on change dpi settings check this one okay apply okay okay so set your mouse cursor there's a lot of options like um clean cursor fps cursor two cursor i guess okay then go to fast flag editor okay this is kind of new because you have to go to like engine settings and then then go to fast leg editor but um they have a built-in channel for this so it's great you can copy fast leg if you paste and you can delete them all by clicking here and you can delete you can also save up fast legs so uh it's very very good there's a lot of options okay and then we got fast flex settings this is what what we do here render and graphics okay they have a lot of options here let's see one by one fps this way okay it will show you the fps in the left corner okay this will be it, it will disable the roblox lightning channel it will disable the roblox turn texture okay these are the same okay then this on as well it will make the sky gray and okay then set this according to your first video i'll just uncap it but um yeah and um okay there is another option with this phase four i didn't see on workshop or fish but use it at your own risk before it will cause a lot of lags lag spike and then we got user interface and layout okay one thing i like is that it's very organized like look it's it's very organized okay turn this on turn this up okay just switch back to the gray and green theme desktop app i don't want that turn this on turn this on as well miscellaneous settings i'll limit it to distance turn this on okay it's about layered coating turn this on turn this on brighter visuals okay the, do not turn this on because it will make the fonts in, in the color of gray then it will system most okay this is kind of new and i kind of like it because it will force all the logical pro cores of the cpu to roblox so you'll get a good amount of fps the cpu and gp light cooling memory providing optimizes memory for low and pc i'm not gonna turn this on okay. dynamic resolution i don't know i might be spelling it wrong but um yeah okay so you can adjust the resolution in game to 720 1080 440 or 2160 i'm gonna set it to 440p 1440 and we go to network and latency okay this is this is great they have a built-in option for network and latency that is all elementary um this one as well as well is faster loading mto size oh so they have a built-in f mto fast like Time to values are in my Discord, so you can go and check your ones as well. And then we got the flag state and the ping breakdown. Turn this on. Flag state is the is it will show the value of specific flags during runtime. All right, then we got boost trapper. Multi instant is here and allow cross game is the multi instant feature. Then we got appearance. Okay, I kind of do like the voice trap logo. I I kind of like it. It looks great. If you theme, there are a lot of themes like bright front. That okay. We got shortcuts. You look in the launch Roblox Studio. Okay, start menu shortcut. It will add the shortcut to the start menu. It's desktop icon. It will add the desktop icon here. But let me show you guys. And right there. But um, that's it. Click on save. That is pretty much gonna wrap over today's video. I hope the showcase and the voice trap settings help you out. And personally, I recommend using voice trap and I kind of do like using it more oftenly. But um, yeah, that's it. As always, stay blessed. Stay peace. And see you in the next one.